Hey guys, this is Reapers Outdoors. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, i got to do some repairs to my uh, Mad River Adventure 14 canoe that I just bought uh, not too long, a month ago. Um, it only had one place that needed to be repaired, uh, but the canoe is in great condition. Um, and a buddy of mine, uh, uh, Susaville, asked me, well, since you're going to do the repairs, just video it. Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and do that. And anybody that's uh, interested in knowing uh, how I repaired my canoe, uh, you know, I hope this'll, this video will help you. Uh, now I'll swing down and show you what needs to be repaired. If you can see right here, on the adventure canoes that have a seat in the middle and it looks like all the seats are built the same way it has four little posts that are molded into the bottom and evidently the guy that I bought this from tried to lift the canoe uh, by the seat and probably broke it loose I'm guessing that's what happened uh, but it's only two of the four legs that have broke loose so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld this back together uh, first thing I'm gonna do is get some uh, plastic weld which is like a it's like the two two part epoxy but it's for plastic and I'm gonna put some in there to kind of stick it back where it was uh, for me to uh, start welding to and uh, once I get to that point I'll uh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So bear with me. Okay guys, I got the plastic weld all mixed up. And I won't go into showing that because you guys know what that is. It's just like a, get it at the auto parts shop and uh, comes in two parts, like a two ton epoxy or something. You just mix it together. Um, I'm gonna use this to kind of seat the seat back in place. You know, whoever had this, I can't believe they tried to put some kind of plain epoxy on this. Just a, a glue to glue it back together. That wasn't going to work. Alright, so I'll use a, a little brush here. Brush it on right here. It ain't got to look pretty. Now get the other side. Yes, got a little bit left in here, so I'll just wipe on the bottom of it. Now, depending on the repairs you are doing, you probably wouldn't need this stuff. Now, I'll get something to wipe that off with. That should help seat it, seat it right there. Bear with me a second. Let me get a paper towel to wipe the excess off. All right, now we just let this sit here and dry. And then we'll go to the next step. And guys, by no means am I an expert on this. This is actually the first time I've ever done it. Uh, I've just done quite a bit of research on it. So may, maybe by my doing this and my research, uh, maybe it'll save someone else a little bit of extra time. So uh, bear with me and let's get this dry and we'll go to the next step. Okay guys, now I'm starting to uh, kind of mold this together. I'm going to take a little mini torch and I don't want to burn this or heat it too much. 
I just want to get it a little warm. Where it'll uh, kind of take the melting a little better. And I called the manufacturer and they sent me some of these little scrap pieces, what they call welding rods, but basically it's strips of plastic or the material of the canoe. So what I'm using is just a, a little soldering iron with the little flat part on it. Now with this one, it's got a little piece sticking out, so I don't know if you can see that where it broke off. So I'm just kind of melting it a little bit. Kind of blending it in. And you want to be careful here because you don't want to melt the hole through the canoe. Now it'll just be something else you'll have to fix. Okay, now they got that kind of melted together. <clears throat> then basically all you do is take your little strips that you got and you're just kind of melting it using it like a welding rod. Pretty easy. Just take your time. Just kind of blend it in. Kind of like you're putting icing on a cake. That's basically what you're doing. Okay guys, I'm going to keep you watching this. This is kind of boring. I'll get some of it done and then, uh, then I'll let you guys see it. Okay guys, I've got a little bit of uh, the plastic molded in there. Uh, now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of reinforcement. I bought a little bit of this uh, aluminum screen uh, repair stuff. Uh, it's basically like your screen windows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this around here to kind of give it something to bite into to kind of give it a little more support and I'll show you how that works metal just kind of melts into it I'll try to do this where you guys can see it so what I do is just kind of melt run my thing on the metal and it'll start heating up the the screen then you kind of push on the screen and it just kind of melts itself into the plastic All right, and you see how I'm doing this. So I'll make you watch me do the whole thing. It's a little time consuming. So I'll turn the camera off and get back on to you when I get it all molded in. Okay, guys. Now you can see how I've kind of got it all melted and molded into the uh, canoe. Now basically it's, it's just a matter of uh, 
doing like I showed you with the welding rods and just filling in and covering up the uh, screen and it should be good to go. Uh, I'll get started on uh, filling it in and then I'll get back with you guys and let you see what it looks like. Okay guys, well there's basically the finished product. It ain't pretty. Uh, if you wanted to go back you could probably sand it with some sandpaper. Uh, keep heating it up and spreading it out and you know make it a little smoother but I'm not really worried about what it looks like as long as it's functional and uh, it looks like it's pretty stiff pretty stout now yeah, I'm gonna probably put a little bit more uh, plastic on it uh, just to make sure but I think it's gonna hold up uh, we'll see uh, when I start taking it out anyway I appreciate you guys watching